There's more news ahead tonight at 5, including exciting news about a local arts magazine going international. It's a story you'll only see on 4 News Now. Not all of Spokane's beauty is outdoors. All over town and towns across the Pacific Northwest, art is flourishing. That's what I want Spokane to be. I want it to be the, one of the biggest art, art hubs around. A year in the COVID bubble was hard for everyone. Through the artists, we go through their websites. Imagine being an artist with no 9 to 5 job and nowhere to share or sell your art. The opportunities for them to set up a booth, show their artwork to in, in a live format to uh, potential clients has just been decimated. That's where Art Chowder comes in. A Spokane-based magazine that's now going across the nation and into Canada. Dean Cameron is the man behind it. I lived in Spokane for 60 of my 61 years, and I've owned a number of businesses uh, and uh, enjoyed every one of them. And Denny Carmen helps him run it. I just want uh, Spokane to be have opportunities and uh, events for every single artist. For five years, the magazine was sold in Spokane, but now a lot more of the nation is going to see what local artists have to offer. This is a whole complete other level and that's the way that's the level on which uh, Rick communicates best. This month's cover artist is longtime local artist Rick John Drow, who grew up in Grand Coulee and is a member of the Colville tribe. Marshall Peterson represents John Drow at Marmot Art Space in Kendall Yards. I think it's fantastic. You know, Rick's been painting professionally for over 30 years. You know, someday, um, hopefully Rick will still be alive then. I'd love to be showing his work in Paris and in Rome. The magazine hopes to shake up the art world far and near. We have talent here in the Pacific Northwest that rivals anywhere in the country. So we really, really want to make sure that the Pacific Northwest arts and culture is shared. Destiny. You can pick up a copy of the magazine locally at Barnes & Noble, Rose Hours in the Valley, and Spokane Art Supply.